What's up everybody, my name is Hoost Online, my YouTube channel is called Hoost Online Gaming and I play GTA Online very frequently because I just freaking love this game. So, at the time of recording, something uh, that doesn't happen very often is going on. There is double money NRP for contact missions, mind you. Contact missions where Lester is uh, is the mission giver, and that got me thinking. You know, most people don't play contact missions that often, mostly because uh, of the long loading times and stuff, and you get very poor choice after you complete a mission for another one, because you know you get the the choice of six new jobs, six new contact missions. And in a case like this, where the, the contact missions given by Lester are paying out double money in RP, well, you want another job from Lester, right? Because you want that double money in RP for that mission. So how do you fix this? It is, uh, it's, I guess this is known by you, uh, my viewer, that you can't put contact missions in playlists because the playlists are reserved for the competitive game modes you know like racing versus missions adversary modes whatever um, and that's kind of a problem because you have to deal with long loading times for each new contact mission you you start up you basically have to spawn into another lobby and once it's finished you can't uh, vote on a job that you would like to do a new contact mission so for for instance, if you want to do another Lester contact missions mission, and the game doesn't give you the option of a contact mission given by Lester, but instead just you know given by Gerald or, or Ron or whoever uh, whoever in Grand Theft Auto Online, you have a problem because you have to spawn back to free mode and you have to start up another contact mission, <laughs> pick the right one, spawn into a new lobby again basically, and do the next one. It takes up a lot of your time. However, if you could put these contact missions into a playlist, you'll just, you know, back to back, you, uh, you can keep playing. Uh, you can have some fun with your friends or, or anything, just you know, cooperate, make some money together. That'd be good. Now, alright, this is the part where I explain how to do that. If you uh, don't know already, you do it like this. You, uh, go to your pause menu and create a, pl a playlist and then you go to uh, your recently played jobs now, if there are any contact missions in that list you can add them to your playlist so that means you only have to uh, you know fire up the jobs once and as soon as you're done you put them in your playlist because they're listed under recently played jobs that way you can play them over and over again in form of a playlist uh, without having to deal with the very long loading times and that's basically how you do it so there are event weeks like this one where the, the Lester missions give you uh, double money in RP or sometimes it's not very often I know but sometimes you know all contact missions will pay out double money in RP and uh, yeah this uh, this uh, you no, know, stops you from wasting time, so to say. So that's a little tip for you. Uh, play them once, then look under, under your recently played jobs. Uh, use that list to add those jobs, in this case, contact missions, to a playlist. Give the playlist a name, you save it, it's uploaded to Social Club, so you can share it with your friends as well. And uh, it saves you a whole lot of time. So that's the tip of the day. Thanks for watching Houston Online Gaming. If you uh, find this sort of interesting or informative, please uh, consider subscribing to the channel and leave a like for this video. I greatly appreciate it. Thank you. Right.